nowadays, Malaysia is facing malnutrition, food waste, and food insufficient supply problems. Agricultural productivity in Malaysia is only 45% among the high-income countries. To increase the productivity and enhance crop quality, one technology is developed, that is, variable rate technology. So, what is variable rate technology? Here's Charles. VRT is an advanced technology that uses data and motivation to apply fertilizer, herbicide, seedings, and irrigation water in different rates in different locations without manually changing the rate system on the equipment. VRT involves in four types of variable rate applications, which are variable rate herbicide, variable rate fertilizer, variable rate seeding, and variable rate irrigation. To know more about the process, here's Constance. Thank you, Charles. The first process of the VRT technology is creating measurement zone. Yields are divided into measurement zone. This is based in remote sensing techniques such as satellite imagery and electromagnetic sensor are used to collect data about the crop characteristic. High, medium, and low productivity area within the fields will be met. With these zones, we can recognize the specific zones which require specific needs in various aspects such as water, fertilizer, or even herbicides. Step 2. Analysis. Maps coupled with computer analysis plays a crucial role in developing prescription maps. Statistical technologies are used to analyze the maps, crops performance, and input requirements. Besides, integrations of biology and chemistry, aka biochemistry, helps in examining the soil nutrients and soil chemical characteristics. Based on the data analysis, maps called prescription maps are made. Mathematical formula and interpolation techniques are used to generate these maps. The knowledge of biology that is used helps in understanding and identifying the crop's biological needs, such as soil requirements at different growth stages, pests, and disease risk. Factors such as soil properties, topography, and climate are taken into account to create customized prescription maps. Appropriate equipments and technology ensure precise distributions of inputs based on prescription maps. Biology and chemistry knowledge assist in adjusting application strategies. For instance, if wheat is detected in certain zones, variable herbicide is programmed to adjust the chemical ratio based on crop health. Near infrared time sensors, optical sensors, and controller ensure an accurate field wide application. Physics principles are used in techniques like nozzle adjustments and spray pressure for optimal application. If the soil is too acidic or alkaline, variable fertilizer is applied. Important macronutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus will also be mixed and applied by the controller to suit the specific crop. Moreover, the water irrigation will control the water sprinklers based on the type of soil. Throughout the growing season, the integrations of biology, chemistry, physics and mathematics in VRT continues to provide assistance. Why did it say so? VRT continues to monitor crop health, evaluate crop conditions, provide feedbacks for crop production optimization. Well, VRT contribute to cost savings. Inefficient application methods lead to unnecessary costs and reduce the return on investment. By adopting VRT, farmers can avoid excessive use of resources. Most importantly, VRT can increase the quality and productivity of crops by providing crops precisely the right amount of water, nutrients, and other resources. Therefore, we can change the plant from this to this. In a nutshell, our team believes that VRT is a future for Malaysia to help every Malaysian to get enough and affordable food everywhere. Let's fight against hunger!